are four leader types that can actually either strengthen or weaken the structure of the organization. The four leader types are the catalyst, the solution or authority giver type, the process helper leader type, and the resource linker leader type. It is unlikely that a leader can be in all of the four types. Leader types help the recruitment team to employ and, uh, and recognize the various functions required throughout the change process. Leader types also help the recruitment team to recruit personalities, those of the quality of the mentioned leader types, to assist in the leadership effort to maximize the effectiveness of the change process. Change can strengthen the organization, and change requires clear vision and a well-designed and a well-managed strategy for accomplishing the task. For more information on the leadership types, watch my previous video from the video link above. A good example for change in the organization is the education system. For example, there are continuing education agencies who are always watching over the shoulder, ensuring the educators' activities are on track. Because of the attention and demands from the companies, organization of educators needs to practice effective continuing education systems. Strengthening organizational support for continuing education should reflect on an appropriate conceptual view of the organizational change process. The chances of success are much higher when continuing educators possess a broad understanding of the organization change process. For example, processes such as the rational planning, social interactions, human problem solving, and political. Rational planning is when change occurs by reason and evidence or systematic research, development of new knowledge, new practices, and products. Social interaction is social networks offer interpretations regarding activity within the organization. Human problem solving is the root of change such as psychological factors as fear, anxiety, prejudice, need for dependence or independence, and need for autonomy. The human problem solving approach emphasizes on creating a supportive environment for change and making the change responsive to the needs of the users. Political. The political strategy focuses on the cause of planned change with an emphasis on the political systems. For more information on strengthening internal support for continuing education, watch my previous video from the video link above. Finally, very much for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.